sometimes it might seem like everything just is like, what is going on? Wait, 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 wait. Did I lose my way? Did I lose my way? Maybe you didn't lose your way. You're just still continuing to find your way. Maybe I didn't lose my way. I'm just continuing to find my way. This is still the path that God has for me, but that path isn't straight. That path is gonna have some ups and downs, <laughs> some roundabouts that I hate, okay? Because I keep going around and around, and I'm like, oh, wait a minute, I'm the only car going around and around. Uh-oh, Mr. Turn, Mr. Turn, oh, gotta go back around. That happens a lot, but I need to go through that roundabout to get to where I need to go. There is no other alternate route. So right now in our lives, if I'm talking to somebody like me, we gotta still stay the course. We might have to run into some brick walls and get knocked flat on our face, or on our butts, on our backs, whatever it is, but we gotta get back up. Go over the wall, go around the wall, but it's gonna happen and after that it's gonna be another wall. Because we can't give up on this thing called life. <laughs> Welcome back to our channel, The Soren Seward Family. I'm Ivy. Thank you so much for joining me for Friday Mommy Moment. You do not have to be a mommy to enjoy this moment. All you need is a moment. If you're new here, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, ring that notification bell so you can be notified whenever we upload a video. Thank you so much for being here. The first thing that we do on Friday Mommy Moment is Friday Shadows. Let's get right to it. Today's shout out is kind of different because I don't know who the person is or who the people are, but I want to give a special shout out to anyone who is running into a brick wall and they feel like, I don't want to keep running into brick walls. So if you're out there and that is where you are in life, it just seems like grasping water with an open hand and everything just keep falling through. And I know the year just started. And if that's you, you're who I'm talking to. Now, let's get into this mommy moment. Y'all already know, I got my coffee. You go grab whatever you need, your beverage, your snacks, whatever it is that you're gonna do to get comfortable, and let's have this moment. Check it out. About a few months ago, me and my husband was talking, and he under, I don't know, this guy thinks that I can do any and everything, okay? Like, he just thinks that, I can do these things, you know? Like he just sees me doing all these great things. He just knows that I can do all these great things. And a few months ago, he poured into me and um, I was like, all right, cool. You know, so I went and started on this project and it was a fail. And then I tried the project again and it was a fail. And the thing about this project is you don't know that it's a fail until you complete it. So it's like running a race over and over again and you get to the finish line and your feet don't move. So I attempted the project again and I get all the way to the finish line. <laughs> and let's say I have the new shoes, I have the gear, I train, I'm going in, my feet stop again. So I'm just like, what if this isn't what I'm supposed to do? I don't, I don't know how to do this. Maybe I don't know how to do this. I don't know how they're over there doing it their way and their style, but something I'm doing just ain't working and I'm tired of running into that brick wall. On top of that, dealing with life, it just seems like a lot of things aren't falling through and things that I thought were going to fall through, they aren't. And it's not even things that I like asked for. God just dropped them on my lap and then I'm like, okay, well maybe I don't know. I don't know, like do you give and take away? Maybe it just wasn't supposed to be there. I have no clue, I don't know. I'm just like, you know what? That's just not gonna work. This over here, I'm totally done with. Just, just forget about it. And then God pops up like always. And I know it's him because what came to me was you're a mother. Your wife, you don't get all those things right. And no, I don't, I don't get all those things right. But I do not have the choice to not be a mother. I do not have the choice to not be a wife. I can't just be like, you know what, wife and it's hard, I quit. Taking care of all those kids plus my mother's caretaker, I quit. 
I don't want to do it. Maybe that's not what I'm supposed to be doing. Hmm. Sounds familiar. You just can't, I just can't do that. And I feel like even though the year just started and everybody has all these goals, all these plans, even whether or not you told your friends about it or not, because yesterday I reached out to two of my good girlfriends. They know who they are. Trust me, they watching this video, okay? And they didn't even know about the project. They didn't even know about it. But I expressed myself to them. I had to do my fit. I had my funk. Even with my husband, too. I had my fit. had my funk. And nowhere in the line did I read from them that quitting was an option. That not figuring it out was an option. Or when that opportunity knocks again, I don't open that door. And I said, you know what? They're right. God, you're right. See, sometimes it might seem like everything just is like, what is going on? Wait, 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 wait. Did I lose my way? Did I lose my way? Maybe you didn't lose your way. You're just still continuing to find your way. Maybe I didn't lose my way. I'm just continuing to find my way. This is still the path that God has for me. But that path isn't straight. That path is going to have some ups and downs, <laughs> some roundabouts that I hate. Okay, because I keep going around and around and I'm like, oh, wait a minute, I'm the only part going around and around. Uh-oh, Mr. Turn, Mrs. Turn, oh, gotta go back around. That happens a lot. But I need to go through that roundabout to get to where I need to go. There is no other alternate route. So right now in our lives, if I'm talking to somebody like me, we gotta still stay the course. We might have to run into some brick walls and get knocked flat on our face or on our butts, on our backs, whatever it is, but we gotta get back up. Go over the wall, go around the wall, but it's gonna happen and after that it's gonna be another wall. Because we can't give up on this thing called life. And surely I don't wanna forget about all the things that God has done for me and become that grumbler, that groaner, that complainer, as if I shouldn't praise him when things aren't going the way that I want to, or as if I shouldn't reach out to him when things aren't going the way that I want them to. Because things aren't always gonna go the way that I want them to. They're gonna go the way that he sees fit. But I have to stay the course because if I get into myself and start acting out of his will, I'm gonna end up on a path that I'm not supposed to be on. So yes, this week, you guys, these, these months that I've been working at this and trying to figure it out and you know, now I'm second guessing myself like, nah, no, figure it out. Keep pushing, keep trying, whatever you're going through, stay the course go through the rain. When it starts to rain outside, you can't go around the rain. The rain is going to do what it needs to do. And then we look forward to the better weather. So if it's clouds and it's raining right now, it's going to pass. But make sure that when it passes, that we enjoy the sun. Because you know what guys, I feel like I am going to get through this. I know I'm going to get through this. Like, come on, God ain't never failed me yet. Even if it takes a long time, I have put in my mind that get frustrated, be human, but don't quit. Whatever you do, don't quit. Whoever's out there and I'm talking to you, listen to me. Don't quit on life because of life's circumstances. Nobody's life is perfect. I don't care what they're posting. I don't care what they're saying. I don't care how good their car look, how good their house is, how good they're polished. Everybody is doing life right now. And I don't care what they're doing. They're doing the same life that you're doing. Everybody has storms. Everybody has circumstances. Everybody has highs and everyone has lows. Stay humble. Stay prayed up. And stay ready for God to break down that wall. But trust me, there'll be another one coming. So be prepared and, and prepare in this season. But that's what I wanted to come and tell you guys. Don't give up. Stay the course. I'm staying the course. I'm staying the course, you guys. I might not figure it out tomorrow or next week or the week after that, you know, but keep on doing my research because it's been figured out. It's been done. People are doing it. Just got to dig deep. So that's all I have for you guys today. I pray that you enjoyed that and I hope that you were blessed. Continue to be great. Until next time, Lord willing, see you next Friday. Stay blessed, stay true, and continue to be you because the world needs more people like you. And if you're not feeling needed, remember here on the Soren Seward Family Channel, we always want you to know that you are needed and you matter. Peace out, great people.